Unfortunately, there was a blip in my network connection somehow there. Um, but we'll continue playing the tournament. Huh, I wonder if I could just hedgehog this. Probably. I might even get to play A5. In fact, now's a good opportunity. This discourages B4 pretty effectively. And as long as I castle before I get mated, um, then at least I'll have castled sometime this game. Uh... Okay. Yeah, you can't make me... I don't know. It's hard for me to turn down a free pawn. Check. I find that pretty irresistible. Uh, we got to come back, though. Because then that starts getting scary, just residing up there for too long. Um... So I'm trying to cover these entry points so this knight doesn't get into my position. Um, meanwhile, I've got pressure this way and that way. So if I could get the bishop to move, I might make some progress. Oh, also I got this b5 trick. Fork. Fork is the word. It's not a trick. It's kind of pretty forcing, actually. Um, so, just go back. And I've still got my pressure along this diagonal. Still have the opportunity to castle if it's if I deem it, deem it desirable. And now I'm up a knight. Alright, let's castle. and untrap my rook, incidentally threatening stuff on the king's side. So done pretty well for this opening. Um, got this idea too. Just need to def uh, develop my knight somehow. Um, this would help me team up on this square. And once the queen goes back, I fork on this square, and I'm winning material. Uh, let's fork here as well. So now I get to take the bishop, um, and then take the rook. So both rooks are attacked. Uh, he can only take one of my knights this turn. But the reason I took the bishop is so I don't have to deal with uh, mate threats on the king's side anymore. Those just aren't a thing. Uh, thankfully the c pawn's pinned. So, I'm doing pretty okay. I've got rook d2 in mind. Um, actually that hits f2 twice, not just once. Alright, so... He sees my obvious ploy. Um, let's just develop this way. The rook's kind of immune at the moment. Um, 
All right, fine. If you're telling me I can't attack on the king's side and I can't attack in the center, I will pick front number three, which is the queen's side. Now I have to play g6 at some point so I don't get mated. Other than that, there really isn't much to this. All right, so now there's no mate. I guess I could have taken c3. And probably should have. Um, Check. But, yeah. I mean, what's his plan now? He obviously sees rook a1, rook c1 ideas. Um, Victory. Yeah. I probably should have done rook a takes c3, just so I could push my pawn on the queen side a touch faster. Um, but what I played was good enough. Going berserk. Going berserk. Nice. I did not expect that check. Um, else I would have taken with some other piece. I really don't like that knight on g4. Can we move it? Please. Alright, so it moves. And I cover bishop c5. Um, you know, this is looking like a game I had a couple games ago. Although I'm going to try bishop e3 instead of b2 this time. And I guess I'm going to try to just attack straight through the center. Maybe even put a rook on f1, or knight on g5. Even if he plays f6, maybe I still go knight g5. Ah. Castles. Check. All right, well, I guess he's going to castle queenside. Uh, this makes queenside castle... Oh, I get my knight pinned. I was going to say this makes queenside castling less effective, because I fork it rooks. Um, but that's not relevant if uh, taking gets loses me material. Uh, he's going to take. Or threaten a mate. Um, So yeah, my attack is not very effective. Okay, g6 is coming. Maybe I play... Oh, hang on. Apparently I have other things to defend or be concerned about. Um, yeah, in fact, I can't play g4. So much for that idea. Okay, suppose I'm forced to trade down into an endgame. Because none of my attacking prospects work. So, um, yeah, this isn't working either. Do this. Check. Just try to pretend I'm ignorant to what's going on. 
It's not very hard. Check. Uh, we're going to take on D7. Oh, my intended rook takes g6 is not so strong. I guess I'm taking f4 then. Uh, I'll take here. Check. It's a nice little cheapo. Check. Victory. Don't need your rook. There we go. Well, we saw some Red skullduggery Red. there. Uh, it was enough to do the job, though. Are we going to see another Sicilian? Or French. Yeah, okay, we got a Caro. But we're gonna transpose into. What's this, a Panov, Botvinnik? If I remember right. It's a line I can play if I don't want to study all the theory that goes with all the main lines of the Caro. I'll just study this one and I'm doing okay. We've got a playable middle game position. put all my pieces on natural squares and go forward. So if I take f6 I can skewer and trade to get that bishop. Um, Double his pawns, and now we get an end game. Uh, let's try to win this way. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do f takes or rook takes. I'm thinking f takes. Uh, doesn't matter though. So I want as many active pieces as we can have in this position. Um, Ah, uh, tactics. If I don't see it the first time, and you've kind of forced me to see it, I'll spot it the second time. Um, this keeps my rooks active. Uh, there's no defending my d-pawn. Uh, well, I'm kind of forced to go this way, aren't I? And I've got h4 in case he tries anything tricky. Or h3. Check. Uh, I need to try to trade off a rook. So the two rook endgame is drawn without question. The one rook endgame, I've got some chances if I lead with g4, which I failed to do. Um, we'll see if I can get g4 in next turn. There it is. He's going to play rook d4. Can I get him to play king g5? That's not king g5. There we go. Now we're talking. Now Check. we're talking. If 
fact. Let's just do this. See? There's winning chances in those endgames. Okay, let's Scandinavian it up. I forgot my opponent did also go Berserk, so he's going to be inclined to move quickly. Um, otherwise, it was kind of, I don't know, tripping me out a bit that he was moving so fast. Alright, so we get two pieces for a queen. And hopefully some initiative. Most tempting moves just hang material on the move. I'm trying to count how much I'm behind. Check. Okay, wait. Well, um, my winning chances here aren't that great. Oh, mate. That's not mate. Um, it's not mate, but it's pretty damn close. Alright, we'll just lead with the king. If I can't use the rest of my pieces, um, then the king will have to fight his own battle. That knight's a tricky piece. The knight specifically is worth um, uh, more than three points, just when we're talking this kind of time control. Uh, so I'm trying to get rook here to hit the pawn. Yeah, it appears my opponent finally stumbled on his idea in this position, which is just shove the pawn. Uh, it's really strong. I goofed. I goofed so bad. Check. 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 Oops, I moved it to the wrong square. Check. 
That was a mouse Jerry. slip. Still won it, but my mouse slipped. Oh. Yeah, maybe you're right. Um, Defender always wants to trade. That's right. I just felt in that position I was the defender somehow. That he had way more initiative than I did. But that wasn't true. Um... I guess I felt that he had the advantage because he had way more time on the clock. Going berserk. Going berserk. Okay. Check. Well, this is a fun way to start the game. There we go. I was going to say, surely I can um, make some progress against his uh, confidence in that kind of position. I mean, when you're up that much material, it's about... Um, half of it's about winning the position, the other half's about just getting your opponent to resign so you can get another game in. Uh, Let's just go again. Check. How does this go again? Oh, let's do this. That looks useful. Now that he's moved off the F file, let's take the F file. Let's put all the pieces, line them all up with. Oh, fine. Be that way. Close my file. Or, yeah, that is a file. Um, okay, fine. We'll exchange down. I need the open F file to work with. My knight on a3 is not the MVP of this game, to put it mildly. Uh, you know, I've got to go for this. Uh, trying to stop his e-pawn is just not going to work. Alright, so... I recognize that this doesn't work either. At least it doesn't win. Um, but I've managed to salvage something out of this. Oh, I've actually got a passed pawn now. Okay. Um, I need that bishop. So I've got Check. a passed pawn. Check. If he's careless, this pawn runs. Check. So that's its main value here. I should have played g5. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw g5 in. Check. Check. Um, <laughs> not the sort of thing you want to calculate in time trouble. So yeah, I calculate that my d-pawn just wasn't enough to win on its own. Um, so I just trade it for two. We get this end game. He's got a past protected f-pawn. Um, I've got some chances. But more than likely, this is just going to draw. Okay, I stop rookie three, uh, which would trade F for H. So I'm trying to keep some initiative here. OK. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, king takes. Check. So you can find the rook and protect all this. Um, making progress here is going to require some focus. Check. Uh, yeah, there we go. I can't believe he did that. He had two and a half minutes to figure out, don't take my A pawn. Um, yeah, no, this is really super dangerous yeah. for black. And it's not so clear what he gains by going into it. Um, Check. Oh crap, I need my rook over here. Otherwise this gets difficult. Check. Victory. Going berserk. Oh, we got Ninzozo again. Going berserk. And he goes berserk a second time. Nobody expects this opening. But yeah, Nimzozo is a good, tricky opening player, so uh, that's why I try to get my novelty in early uh, to ensure we get some kind of an exciting game. Now he just trades. Yeah. Or not. Um. Check. Oh, that's no good. Alright. I did not see I was giving the bishop there. Uh, I was lost in any event, though. Because knight g4 was the alternative, and I don't think that worked. Red going berserk. Smith Mora. Well, that's an interesting setup. Um, do I not gain the d6 square, though? Check.
Free Rook. Ah, uh, Tactics. Victory. Okay, we're in 197th place. I'm curious. So I've got 81 points. The leader is 577. Red Red going berserk. <laughs> the leader went berserk quite a bit, though. Which is, in its own way, pretty impressive. Okay, so I take here, um, go here, take, and then go back to b6, I think. I think that's a line. Uh, and then I think I go here. Oh, I've not seen that before. Uh, that's scary. I'll just sidestep it. So I didn't have time to play knight ge7 the whole opening. Um, I suppose now I get to castle queenside. Because kingside seems kind of a bust. Uh, I'm still being careful not to drop this outright. Alright, so he gets the e-pawn. Um, I suppose that's fine. Oops, I hung my rook. We'll say it's a sacrifice. Because I actually do get some decent play. <laughs> um... Yeah, one thing's for sure, I did not want to be in that pin any longer than I needed, needed to be in that pin. Um, okay. I'll force you to take my rook somehow. I will keep offering it, and eventually you will take it. So my next idea is rook takes f3 and then knight d4. Um... I don't know why he just he hasn't just pushed this and tried to smash through over here. Why would you push on the king side? I mean, maybe you could somehow target my center through my e pawn. Um, but no, like pushing on the king side seems counterintuitive. Uh, in fact, is this strong? Yeah, let me just play that. So, I think we exchange, and I'm still hitting F2. So this is doubly attacked. Oh, I was intending King B8. Um, then him, seeing him actually play this made me question my plan. Um, so, go here instead. I didn't. S I somehow thought the knight was on e6 and wasn't hitting b7. Um, but it seems to have worked out. So, threatening this and then taking the rook. Um, so we'll take yeah. this and then take the rook. Check. Oh, I have to go this way. Check. 
At least E6 is defended. <laughs> oh, this is scary. How do I get my king out of here? Um, Check. Yeah, okay, I'll give back some material. Check. I can't be greedy all day. Check. Okay, you've earned the exchange back. I'll give you back just the exchange. And I'm up a knight and a pawn or two, apparently. Um, he's intending queen b8. I'm trying to stall queen b8. Um, just take your yeah. damn exchange already, will you? Oh, I thought he checked me, and I'm like, what? How did that happen? Check. Check. That was just the delay Victory. in the noise. Um, so yeah, I won that on time. I should, all, I should be really proud of winning a game on time. But in fairness to me, it's not like my opponent had any clear plan. Ah, it's not a cheater. Yeah. That's pretty convincing. So if I win, if he wins, I know he's not a cheater. Cuz it's right in the name. Check. So I have to defend. Yep, yep, yep. And then he trades knights, and it's just generally unpleasant for me. I've got to go for this anyway. Ha! <laughs> Look at that! His knight might get out, too. It's a scary thing. Oh, it does get out. At least I still know he's not a cheater. Um, I'm just playing badly. Yeah, he's playing very resourcefully. He's seeing all of my missed ideas, tactics, etc. Um, and placing all his pieces very effectively and just playing how I think a normal chess player should play. All 
All right, let's step into a pin. Uh, I can't even push G5. Will he not give me any kind of counterplay? It's really difficult to play these positions with no time on the clock. <laughs> um, so anything he gives me would be most appreciated. It's not a freebie either. Is this a freebie somehow? Yeah, that's Jack. a freebie. That's definitely a freebie. Jack. All right. So he's gotten a bishop Jack. and three pawns. Um, He's still better here. But man, this is a tricky position to play. Check. I've got this covered. Um, I'm not actually threatening to take it, but just make him sweat a little Jack. bit. All right. Now it's on a light square. Now I have some drawing chances. <laughs> oh, what a, the things I do for a draw. Um, okay. Uh, this is not so hot. Check. Check. Yeah, no, I'm just lost here. You lose. Very well played. That end game was untenable, um, at least not in that time pressure. Maybe I could somehow hold it um, if I had tons and tons of time on the clock and could find a way to prevent queen trades. Uh, but yeah, no, that was just dead lost. Oh, I forgot about that. All right, take my pawn. Momo to self. Consider queen b4 when this bishop moves. Um, the llama lord's in ninth. Very impressive. And J posthuma, or J posthuma, is uh, in eighth. Uh. Check. I'm going to see if I can somehow get this pawn based on a pin. Or maybe, maybe knight g5 and try some tricks here, too. Um, well, that's not such a good idea. Let's just play c4. Let's cattle end this up. Um, also, not drop the rook. So, yeah, let's just deal with that threat. Um... Okay. If 
he plays the knight d5, maybe I take it and then take c4 and then bishop d6 and bishop takes bishop. Check. Yeah, I think that's what I do here. So he's dallied a bit on his development and I can exploit